Hi everyone. Thanks for clicking on this video. As the title says, I have a new race announcement. Decided not to run the uh, 24 hour trail festival for a couple of reasons. One is that it's now April and the event is in July. And I probably wouldn't be able to run the distances that I'd like to be able to run, to be honest. And two, it's the first day of our annual holiday and we've hired a VW camper van to tour around Suffolk and Thetford Forest. And thinking about it afterwards, that would completely wreck my body for the whole rest of the week. Not fair on the wife, not fair on my body really. So here I am on Brooks Road, just outside of Rawns where I live. And this is, to some people, really torturous, boring, flat, long road. But to me, it's perfect for training. It's really good for intervals, really good for math, rate, heart rate training, which is what I'm doing today, doing a five mile easy run. So what race have I signed up for? Well, it's a bit further back than July, than that trial fest. This is in September. It's on uh, surfaces similar to where I live. And it is the Thames Path Challenge 100K. I've already walked the whole of the Thames Path over the last two years. Thoroughly enjoyed it. So I know what to expect. I know the terrain, I know the places we go through. And I'm really looking forward to doing it. Rocket launcher there. Might, people might think it's some sort of water tower, but we all know it's a rocket launcher. All right, I've started my training plan for the Thames Pass Challenge, and I'm going back to the same book that I used last year, and that is Running Your First Ultra by Christy Mayo. A brilliant book, full of training plans from 50K to 50 mile, 100 mile, the training plans are, are excellent because they're really varied. They never stay the same week to week, day to day in fact. There's a load of mix, mixing up of core training sessions, different types of running, as you would expect, I guess. Easy running, steady running, tempo running, also interval training. What about all the math training I've done? Am I just going to ditch it for this new training? Well, no, absolutely not. I've learned a lot from doing the math running about my body, about how to come back from injury properly. It's been really helpful for that. And uh, at least one or two days a week on my training plan, there's easy runs. And so every time it says easy run on my training plan, like today, I'm going to do math, math training. What the training plans don't cover is walking. And uh, I think I might swap out some of my long runs for long walks. Because the longest run on the training plan is like 30 miles, I think, which is way longer than I've ever done on a training plan. But I think it's important to do a really long walk for an ultra, because you're going to be on your feet all day. I mean, I'm going to be on my feet for 14 hours, 15 hours, maybe. 14 hours if I'm doing well. <laughs> I'm going to adopt a walk run method on my uh, 100k challenge in September anyway. That's what I'm feeling at the moment. Watched a really good video of a guy who came 14th on his first ever ultra and he ran three miles and walked for five minutes every single section. I really like that idea. If there is any hills on the Thames path, and I don't think there is, thinking about it steps maybe obviously walk them but I like that idea a lot five minutes you know five minutes walking after every 5k get yourself sorted out drink some water 
eat some food, get that food going down you regularly. Have you taken part in the Thames Pass Challenge? If you have, <laughs> please leave a comment below. Give me some hints or tips that you might have. Let me know about the aid stations. Let me know about the food that might be available. So that's it for me. If you made it this far, I appreciate you all uh, staying with me. If you haven't already, please consider giving me that thumbs up, liking the video, click on that subscribe button and follow me in my training as I prepare myself for 100K. Take care for now.